Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again with episode number 22 of the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One. And I've literally just finished watching Chelsea beat Liverpool in the, the, uh, in the Barclays Premier League on Super Sunday. And it's time to take on the other team from that city in the Barclays Premier League here at home again at Stamford Bridge. We've got Everton, the visiting team. Now they're a very, very good side. And as you can see, we sat second in the league now. And of course, Man City lost to us in the league not long ago. That was their first defeat. And they've now lost three. So their confidence does look to be shaken quite a bit towards the uh, the latter part of the latter part of uh, of the season so we do stand a very very good chance of being able to close that gap to the top if we can pick up results now Diego Costa as you can see is playing in this one starting up top and he's not had that much to do in recent months he's just coming back from a broken ankle so we're looking to him to maybe step up to, uh, to the plate, get himself back in contention for a consistent first team place and if he can start to put goals away hopefully we can carry on that push towards the top, so if we're getting goals from Diego Costa Samuel Eto'o and Fernando Torres then uh, we've got a very very good chance, but as you can see it was a slow not very good first half 50-50 ish in possession, only uh, only three chances all told from both teams, but uh, it wasn't long before we were able to make the breakthrough. Super goals from Super Frank, we seem to be saying that more often than not at the minute. Absolutely delighted for Frank to be able to start putting goals away, and a lot of them are from distance as well. Kind of stereotypical Frank Lampard goals, poachers goals from the edge of the box, just gets the ball into the feet, shifts it to his right hand side, smashes it right into that far top corner. We take a very, very good, not necessarily well deserved, but very, very good 1-0 lead and Danilo the right back goes on an absolute run of love there before having his shot saved deflected up to Oscar's head before putting it into the back of the net to go 2-0 up but Danilo there full full credit for that run jinking through three players before having that first shot and then it was Diego Costa's turn similar position to Frank Lampard this time going for the bottom right hand side as opposed to the top right hand side and uh, again we I just said we've looking to Diego Costa to try and step up and put some goals in the back of the net and that is exactly what he was able to do there and it's a pinpoint sight so you'll be able to see better from the second replay than uh, than this first one he strikes across it and it moves away from the goalkeeper they're actually playing Joel Robles in goal not Tim Howard but you see from this one it's coming towards the goalkeeper and then arcs away as he gets seven or eight yards out from goal just takes it away from the goalkeeper into that far bottom corner and that gives us a controlling 3-0 lead although they were able to get one back a decent first header there and I was disappointed with Oscar I was hammering B for him to clear it and he just turned on it got tackled and it wasn't in fact a shot that went into the back of the net it was just Stephen Pienaar tackling uh, Oscar on the edge of the six yard box to pop the ball into the back of the net but three goals unfortunately not a clean sheet but three points nonetheless and we will definitely take that considering two days later now with a full first team full rested fully fit first team we take on Tottenham at Stamford Bridge and of course as you can see the uh, the conditions aren't the best it's definitely going to be a difficult game it's we're in the middle of March and I think this is probably either the first or second game that we've had to play in the snow we've actually not been playing in the snow that much this year been quite fortunate considering uh, of course the gameplay completely changes when you're playing in the snow but suppose we're going to get the first effort here Tech with a great first save and uh, I'm not able to clear the ball properly and Sigerson's going to come up with a header but uh, fortunately Check on the second attempt is able to gobble it up and uh, the danger has passed but Vidal's going to have a decent shot from distance here unfortunately it gets blocked and I, I would have liked him to have taken that a little bit earlier because he had a lot of space in front of him but Hazard's going to whip the corner in and it's actually Fernando Torres that goes up and uh, the referee gives a penalty there now I wasn't too sure what it was for so I had a quick look at the replay as we always do when we get a penalty decision and I couldn't really see anything from this first time it was Kyle Walker clearly winning the ball but it was once I let the play go on and you turn the camera you watch Stuart says he's actually just a fail of the, the physics engine he goes to head it clear but he goes up with his arm first just to get the rotation of the top half of his body to head it clear and of course it struck his arm before he uh, was able to get his head anywhere near it Hazard steps up and how how is that for a penalty right into that top right hand corner just like he did against Liverpool in uh, the game that I mentioned earlier fantastic finish from open play that time against Liverpool a couple of days ago on Sunday but even the goalkeeper going the right way there you're not going to get anywhere near that penalty absolutely wonderful strike and then we take an early 1-0 lead but suppose we're going to get themselves back in it almost here Jermaine Defoe's actually going to win the header and uh, unfortunately for him it's not quite as accurate as it could have been and it does trickle past the far post and out for a goal kick but he's going to get then back on level terms before half time but unfortunately I don't know we don't really know what happened with my PVA it kind of glitched out a little bit and kind of uh, like didn't film the uh, the last two or three minutes of the uh, of the first half and uh, didn't capture any of the half time goings on all the first couple of minutes of the uh, 
of the second half. So unfortunately, I can't bring you that Defoe goal, but it was a goal poached from the edge of the box. Just kind of, he beat one player. I missed the tackle with David Luiz, and he pulled it across the goal into that far bottom left-hand corner to bring them back on level terms. I do apologise I'm not able to bring you that goal, but uh, Jermaine Defoe there, as you can see, scored in the 44th minute to, uh, to make sure that both teams took half of the points. Well, it's not even, it's a third of the points, isn't it? I guess one of three. Both teams took a point from that one. But uh, we've got another game against Manchester City. How many times are we going to have to play them this season? This time, it's in the FA Cup quarterfinals, away from home at the Etihad. We've obviously, just a few days ago, beaten them in the Capital One Cup final. And uh, we've got them again in the FA Cup quarterfinals. Arsenal, Sheffield Wednesday, still involved. Swansea, Newcastle and uh, QPR Man United, I think, is the other tie. But we we're going to go off to a decent start, actually, creating chances right from the off. Oscar uh, playing the ball inside to Kevin De Bruyne. He's going to get the turn into Willian. And it's Joe Hart with a good save, batting it away down to his left-hand side. And we uh, we covered it in the in the game yesterday against the Livecon with uh, with the Capital One Cup final. How Joe Hart likes to bat things away rather than catch them. And that was another example of that there. And unfortunately, John Terry wasn't able to capitalise with the header from the corner. We aren't able to take a one nil lead. But the, there's a bit of a mix up here between two defenders. They just completely take each other out. Kevin De Bruyne latches onto the ball back from Messian, and again, unfortunately for us, Joe Hart is able to make a good save and bat it away for a corner. Nothing particular, nothing in particular came from that chance. But they got a chance themselves here. Jovetic's breaking. A lot of space, and you really would have wanted him to do a lot better with that. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't able to even find the target with five or six yards around him, and uh, they'll be really disappointed with that. Manuel Pellegrini will be particularly disappointed. But Samueletto, what a strike! Really, really unfortunate not to put us one nil up there. Unfor again, unfortunately, Willian can't really uh, capitalise on the effort with the second attempt. Plays it straight at Joe Hart, but nil nil at half time is how we went in. Really fantastic shot there above the uh, the stadium. But uh, we head into the second half, trying to get ourselves in front. And it's Oscar or Eto with the header. I really can't make can't decide who actually ended up having that header. But Joe Hart again with another fantastic save to keep us at bay. And the rest of the second half was kind of a bit of a non-event, considering both teams were very very tired. A lot of games being played in short succession here. But if you're gonna win a game, that is definitely the way to win it. Into the 93rd minute, Oscar gets the ball on the edge of the box turns and hits a glorious strike left footed hit into the top left hand side of the net you see a wonderful clip of it here off the inside of the post absolutely beats Joe Hart all ends up there's no chance he's going to bat that one away what's the spin on the ball from this effort here you can see it's just curling away from the goalkeeper fortunately just enough to get it away from Joe Hart but not too much so as that it bends around the post and out for a goal kick and we were able to snatch that one absolutely snatch that one although we were on top we were dominant in uh, in both the performance and the, the chances had so uh, you can't necessarily say we didn't deserve to go through but this is the situation in the league as we stand as you see we've only lost two games but we've drawn ten and that's the absolute killer we're nine points behind Manchester City we're second there are eight games left so it's, it's doable but it's going to be difficult but uh, we're going to have to make sure that we keep a decent run of form up I think we've now actually won 11 games in a row in all competitions maybe 12 or 13 but we still undefeated at home all season long in every single competition so fingers crossed we can continue that run of form into the next game I actually away from home in the next game against Real Madrid in the Champions League second leg so if do be sure to come back for that video. That will be coming to you on Thursday. Of course, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So there will be a link to do so in the description and an annotation on screen over that subscribe button. And if you missed the live com yesterday with the Capital One Cup final, then there's a link on screen over that little snippet of gameplay you can see there. And that is going to wrap this one up for today. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you did enjoy. That would be absolutely wonderful. And I will see you tomorrow with the first episode of the Head to Head Interactive Road to Division 1.